Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. I'm Ketch, thank you for joining me. Last time we went on a little bit of a trip um, by checking out uh, our friend Zolf's pipe here. Uh, we weren't really ready for it, we didn't have all of our abilities slotted in, and we made it pretty close to the end, but we ended up failing at the end. Um, we had talked to him about the these Marshall things. The Marshal seemed like good man, he says. They treated him with dignity. And so pipe. brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. Yeah, we'll talk to uh, Rux also. Even about since the, the Urus surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Right. So Zolf is an Ura. Hey, Squirt. And uh, we also uh, learned a lot about ourselves. Um, the boy or the kid, you know, we don't really have a, uh, a name per se yet, but um, in the pipe, basically, we went through some visions of ourselves and our past, and we learned, not visions, but um, little remembrances of, of sort of how we got to where we are. Uh, I think I will double check my uh, slotted abilities, my arsenal. Yeah, see, this is what I'm missing. So, mirror shield. Automatically counter blocks all incoming attacks for a short time. Not awful against some of those charge guys. Um, grenade. See, I'd like to do dancing shot. What do I have? I have the musket. Don't want the musket. Um, we'll read about it real quick though. Knockback effect compensates for limited range. A uh, mass-produced version of the very first Ceylonian firearm said to be a true terror. It belches searing clouds of jagged metal. Um, is very effective against large groups of uh, enemies where we need an AoE. Not effective at all against the larger enemies. Um, still thinking that I'm enjoying the uh, the bow better. And with the bow we can use the dancing shot. I'm still liking this loadout. It's, a, it's an earlier loadout, but um, so far I'm, I'm still liking it the best. Let's check and see if we have any upgrades. We do not. Another thing that we sort of uh, discovered was, oh, let's see, we have a couple quests to turn in, I guess. I thought we had turned some of these in, but I guess not. Uh, we did the Remenders. shield one. They had thankless jobs, the most important kind. And single well place shot, yeah. Kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. Uh, okay, and I guess I've we asked never. A lot of the kid, but this is something he's done on his own. Oh, the quest. I was like, what? What is something? <clears throat> Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. So I think like I didn't progress enough and so the stuff that I did in here last time didn't say, but that's okay. We did a lost and found, <clears throat> which lets us the use the fragments. Found. Yeah, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. And, and do exactly that. It's basically a shop, um, which has a lot of very cool stuff in it. Um, we didn't really get a chance to totally go through it yet, so let's take a look. Um, this is a scrap musket skill, final warning. A blast sent straight up into the air, causing a flurry of projectiles to rain down on the area. Um, so that's like a AoE around you. Um, not sure how long it lasts, um, but that's for the musket. Uh, grave or slash, lightning fast flurry of strikes that can cut through even the toughest armor. Origins of the technique are widely disputed, though its potency is not. Um, okay, so that's like a boss killing technique, I guess, for the war machete. Um, this is an upgrade material for the scrap musket, for the fang repeater, the war machete, the bow, and the hammer. Now, these mementos, Bronze spyglass, portable telescopic lens used for stargazing. The sundown path once held breathtaking views of the stars, the mountains, and the sea. Now only the stars remain. And the crystal beret, a memento, a fashion accessory covered in soot. Holds great value of the sentimental variety. Also holds hair firmly in check. Great. 
best hang on to just in case. So I think I'm gonna pick these up. Uh, yeah. All it takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. That's cool. Cool. Grab both of these. Um, just for the completion idea of of the uh, getting to talk to them. Uh, these are level up improvements using secret skills. Secret skills. Is that my right trigger? Secret skills. Uh, whale ale. Mariners concocted this mixture to see them through rough waters. Musky, smoky aroma. Bastion bourbon. Get down with that. Health tonics fully restore health. Oh, that's a neat one. And plus two health tonic capacity. <laughs> I might need to equip this. Uh, it's going to help a ton, especially in this pipe section. So I'm actually going to buy that immediately. Uh, Lunkhead liquor. 100% damage when counter blocking with the shield. I'm not very good at that, so maybe avoid it. Uh, bitter leathery flavor comes from bits of lunkhead scales believed to improve reflexes. Stab synth. Automatically retaliate when injured. So if I ever take damage, I guess I, I deal damage back. So that could be valuable too. I don't have enough um, level up slots to really warrant just buying all these right now. I will pick up another upgrade item for the bow for the hammer and for the machete. I'm thinking about using the machete. Um, I won't grab any of those other ones for now though. Let's go take a look one more time. Okay, so I've got new um, conversations I can have based on those new mementos. Uh, let's, hang on. let's look at the upgrades here. So we'll start with the bow. I currently have 25% draw speed. Um, I need the target penetration actually equipped so I can do that challenge. Maybe I'll go back and do that today. Um, arrows cost damage over time or plus 50% damage. Um, so this is like for bosses basically or something I need to hit and then hit multiple times. And this is just, I don't know how much damage over time it does. Um, how about we do, let's try it out. It packs a special surprise in every one of those arrows. We'll see, uh, what makes these locked? Like if I go buy another, let's see. Uh, the hammer, we've already got 50% damage. Uppercut attacks cause knockback. Attack without moving to uppercut, okay. Focus attack. To focus, defend for a few moments using the bullhead shield, then attack. That's interesting. I tend to sort of hang out with my shield out. Um, Ain't never let Joe try his that. Old friend with a sturdy using a lot of these like fragments that. here, hopefully. Uh, I'm not gonna regret that. And the machete, oh, I've already got leveled up twice. Interesting. I've got 20, ooh, 20 crit hit chance or damage over time and crippling. I feel like the, that could be better. 100% um, critical hit damage. Oh, the blade throw. I don't even remember how to do that. Holding it in maybe. Uh, we'll keep crit damage. So more crit chance and it stacks. So it's basically 40% extra crit chance. Um, oh, so it's uh, even more damage over time or more crit chance. Let's go with um, Points damage over time. Don't get, get in, sharper than that. get in, hit, get out. And I think I will swap to this and just give it a shot. Uh, oh wait, I had one more for the war musket, scrap musket, yeah. 50 range, uh, more spread. Okay, so more range, less spread of equal amounts, more spread, less range. Um, I might as well go you for the range here. Scrap that was the big issue the I had with it. Uh, you know, I don't think I'm using that right now, so it doesn't matter too much, but that's okay. And here, we're gonna go check out the war machete. A bow and a machete. Yeah. Every bit as effective as the fancier stuff. Yeah, what, what more do you need, right? Let's talk to Rux about some of this new stuff we got. 
Ask about what happened to Nacy, the girl who used to pin her hair back like this. Is she here already? Where is everyone? I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Right, so we were the plan, I guess, for the whole town was like, you come here in the case of the worst emergency, which the world falling apart is, is pretty much a terrible emergency. And apparently nobody else has showed up. Uh, ask about the bronze spyglass taken from the sundown path. Uh, only the stars remain on the horizon. The mountains are gone. We're no closer to the stars now, are we? We could always see the stars. We just never could reach them, no matter how high we build. Yeah, it's pretty typical of a lot of here, a lot of uh, cultures until the space age, right? Although we still haven't been able to reach other stars. Uh, let's talk to Zolf about the crystal beret. Um, you didn't happen to see a girl who wore this in her hair, did you? Still looking for Nacy. We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Yeah, I feel you, Zolf. Sorry about that, buddy. Uh, let's see, we'll talk about the spyglass. Offer him the spyglass. Maybe this can help you take your mind off things. You can help us find new skyway paths. That's Zolf cool. Zolf to help me plot the skyways for the kid. At least the calamity hasn't touched the stars, he says. Zolf offers you? No, I just told him, like, don't take credit. Don't take credit for my idea, Rux. You jerk. All right, we're equipped. Oh wait, no, we want to go look at one last thing for our equipment here. We did level up, so we have a new slot. We've got critical hit chance only on uh, low health, oh no, full health. Um, fetching Fizz, which gathers fragments, pretty useful uh, as a convenience, but not necessarily going to help me get through anything. Um, this is the critical hit chance, but when below, and speed while defending. So while I'm holding my shield up, more speed. Gotta go with the Bastion Bourbon. This thing seems really broken. Um, And 10 max health. Yeah, so these are very defensive items. Which if I'm happy you're feeling with. low, count on the buttery flavor of our own Bastion bourbon. Look at that, I've got five potential heal slots. It's gonna be huge in here. All right, time for revenge on the pipe. Kid takes another drag, goes out like a light. So he knows, uh, return to who knows where. Yeah, I'm here. There's something you should know about the kid, but let me take it from the top. Start it over. We'll start over the uh, the story of our life until we can find out what we should know about the kid. Machete. Tear down this place. Okay, so we saw the damage over time and a little bit of effect there. Take care of these guys from range. Oh, the bow's doing damage over time. How good is it? Not the best, but just being able to get these guys from range. Um, the past catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. Yeah, we can pay a little bit more attention to that this time. So we're on 19 now. Um, we'll want to do some. Oh, oh. Actually, I could just use the bow on these guys now. Countering is a very effective way to take care of them, but it's no longer required. And I'm really looking forward to just being able to kill this guy from range. Because these, these guys were a serious pain in the past. And avoid the blue goo. I feel like I've spent a lot of time Fair just to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in the blue stuff. No lie. So I'm, apparently I'm talking in my sleep. Some pretty messed up stuff in my life. We've gone through most of this already. Let's give a little uh, ultimate ability there. Oh yeah, I can throw... And that actually poisons also. It's pretty good. He never knew his old That's man. That's pretty good. But he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Yep, never met my old man, only had my mom. Take care of that real quick. 
I'm, I'm assuming I can actually kill these. Yeah, I can kill them pretty easily. Alright, very cool. Completed the Gravers. I actually don't know what that one was. Quickly strike foes 15 times in a row without missing. Alright. That was actually really easy. Uh, yeah, so me, just just me and my Heather's mom. Heather's mama's hair did the kid no favors while he was growing up. But he learned to hold his own out there. I still have no clue why, like, me having this hair was a big deal. A cultural thing in this world, I'm guessing, that hasn't necessarily been explained yet. Or just having white hair, I guess, yeah, I guess it would be weird in our culture also, but I don't know. You kind of put yourself in a fantasy setting and School you're ain't sort of out, thing. So the kid signs no up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. 